Previously on Hell's Kitchen, Chef Ramsay surprised the final five. There's your kitchen. Are you kidding me? Catering truck? With a signature lunch challenge. Your favorite dish belongs to Gale Steak Salad. Well done. Really good. Was a clear favorite. Thanks, guys. While Russell's grilled octopus. He did not like this dish. Was a clear disaster. Russell's Mr. Fancy Pants, so it's nice to see him coming dead last, that's for sure. But at dinner service. Jillian, they're overcooked. Stop it again. Russell redeemed himself. They have no color on that side. The pan's not hot enough. Coming to the rescue of Jillian on the fish station. Scallops cooked perfectly. Nona, on the other hand, had a subpar performance. Crunchy spaghetti. Come on! While challenge winner Gail failed again. Where's the garnish? Oops, not ready yet. And again. Gail's just completely non-communication. And again. Hard, undercooked, and stone cold. This is not normal. It's like a joke, like you've just been punked. But it was Trev's mangling of the meat. Put your finger on that. They're overcooked. That pushed Chef Ramsay over the edge. It's like you're doing it on purpose. I'm done. Good luck, superstars. And right out the door. We are fucked. At elimination time, the chefs had lots of choices, but chose. Gail and Trev. But Chef Ramsay had a message for Jillian. Listen to me carefully. You've got to pull it back. I didn't like what I saw. I know I disappointed you. I disappointed myself. In the end, early favorite Gail. I thought that you were going to go a lot further. The executive chef from New York was forced to say so long to Hell's Kitchen. Continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Talk about relief. I feel like I'm white as a ghost right now. I didn't think I was going to get another reprieve. How does it feel to be in the final four? Wow. I made it to the final four, and it's so close to the end, and it's just like, oh, man. Time for a cigarette. Ooh, I want to go out there with you. Hell yeah, I want to make it into the final three. So I just have to come back tomorrow and keep fighting and just hope that I do better tomorrow than I did today. I have to have a fucking stellar performance tomorrow or I'm going to get put up. Did you think coming in here at the first dinner service that it would be us for? I never thought Trev would make it this far. He's going to be gone next. At this point right now, I think my biggest competition is myself. Basically, Trevor is way over his head, and I don't think Nona's there either, but I think Nona's better than Jillian. Jillian had a lot of bad services lately, so it's like she's falling apart. Good night, monkey. Nona, Russell, Trev, and Jillian have been tested in a dozen different challenges designed by Chef Ramsay, but they are about to face their most difficult one yet. Good morning. Good morning, morning chef. chef. OK, now that we're down to our final four, I'm going to pay you up. Yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Trev and Jillian, one team. Russell and Nona, one team. Yes, Chef. And I would just like you to come up with one great dish together. Yes, yes chef. chef. What the chefs don't know is that this cooking assignment is a mere distraction. 30 minutes. Starting from now. Oh, yeah. And while they're busy preparing their dishes. What do you want to do? In the red kitchen, Chef Ramsay is busy preparing their next challenge. Taste it, now make it. Back in. 
together nice and crispy. Each of the chefs will have to recreate Chef Ramsay's dish by completely relying on their palate. That came out nice? Yeah. That's perfect, I think. Chef Ramsay believes that a great chef should be able to identify the key ingredients of any dish simply by tasting it. OK, good. Bring them down over here. And he's going to use the dishes created by the final four to demonstrate. OK, Trev and Gilliam first. Uh, we did a little bit of... Do you know what? Don't, 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 don't even tell yeah. I'm going to let the taste do the talking. Clearly, lamb cutlets in here. We have pear, red pepper. Mm -hmm. Lamb has been seasoned with cinnamon. Yep. <laughs> oh, he's good. Dude, this guy's palate is ridiculous. Russell and Nona. I wouldn't even have been able to do that. And I made the shit. Take that to ribeye. Uh, there's a little kick right at the beginning. That is not lime, it's lemon. Yep. Huh? And it's not creme fraiche. Mascarpone? Yep. Yes, Chef. Delicious. Chef is definitely in the elite of super tasters. Another delicious dish. Thank you, Chef. But get prepared now for your real challenge. What? What do you mean that's not our challenge? Now, for your next challenge, I want you to taste a dish that I've just cooked. Once you've tasted it, you're going to recreate it. Yeah. Now, the person that comes closest to recreating this dish wins the challenge. 45 minutes, starting from now. With no information about the ingredients or recipe and only one sample dish to reference, each chef must recreate the dish from sight, smell, and taste. I'm trying to, like, pick out different things that I know are definitely in here. But at the same time, I'm also kind of like, oh, it's so good. Close your eyes. Taste, taste, taste. I eat pork all the time. There's not a shadow of a doubt in my mind that I'm eating pork right now. Right away, I picked veal right up. I'm very confident in my palate. Um, I, I definitely think I can recreate the dish. When I pull veal, Trev pulls veal. And so I'm like, OK, so he's watching me. And so then I go and I grab pork just to fuck with him. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Have some options up your sleeve, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Nona and Russell have decided on veal, while Jillian has selected pork. Meanwhile, Trev is undecided, but is playing it smart. He said, give yourself options. So I was doing two of everything that I was unsure of. I think it's pure. I don't know, I'm making both. I did one pork and one veal. I did sweet potatoes and I did the carrots. Everybody's looking for any advantage they can get. Let's go, guys. Yeah, make it count. Yes. Only thing I could taste in the puree was the start and yeast. I couldn't taste it if it was carrots, butternut squash, or yams. So I have to just go with my gut. Russell decides to go with a yam puree, as do Nona and Jillian. Trev, once again, hedges his bets. Now I was stuck on the puree. I mean, I made both, but this was a natural sweetness. And I was certain it was fucking carrot. So I went with it. Last 15 minutes. Don't even think about plating up to at least three minutes to go, yes? Yes, Chef. Yes, the final four have all chosen celery root and cabbage to garnish the main components of Chef Ramsay's dish. But while everyone else used bacon to accent the cabbage, Nona tastes something else. When I taste, I'm trying to feel the texture, and I knew it was pancetta. Now that Nona's content with her pancetta, the chefs must decode the final element of Chef Ramsay's dish, the sauce. Ooh, I think I know what the sauce is. It was like a brown gravy truffle sauce, a little chicken stock, and I swear it tasted exactly like the one that Chef Ramsay made. The chefs have all chosen the same base for their sauce, but Trev, as usual, isn't done yet. I'm really working on that sauce. There was a sweetness behind it. A sweetness you're only gonna get by using wine. So I added that to bam. All right, got the sweetness. Three minutes to go. Stop putting the foot on the plate. I'm eating the pork, I'm eating the veal, I'm eating the pork, I'm eating the veal. They're close in flavor and texture. It's hard to fucking differentiate. 10, nine, eight. So I made a snap judgment and I went with the pork. Three, two, one. And serve! Oh, that was fun. I forgot the puree. It's sitting right there. Ah, fuck. Go. Oh, great. The fucking puree. There I go again, rushing and not thinking, and fuck. Okay. 
Gillian, let's go with you first, please. Lady Chef. first. Thank you very much. Chef. OK, what is it? Um, a roasted pork loin with brown truffle gravy and sweet potatoes. Pork's cooked nicely. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Mm -hmm. He didn't say anything bad about my plate, so at least my shit tastes good. No, no. Describe the dish, please. Uh, and I have a pan-seared veal, and I have cabbage with pancetta. Mm -hmm. And for the puree, I have sweet potatoes with star anise. Nice. Chef isn't saying anything. He's just like, yeah, nice. Mm. 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 Yeah. So what is it? <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you. Russ. It's a pan-roasted veal loin, Napa cabbage with a little bit of bacon, mm -hmm. and sweet potato puree with a little bit of star anise. And then, you know, just seasoned it. My plate looks exactly like Chef Ramsay's. Everything is spot on. Trev, thank you. And what is it? Pork loin. Pork loin. Over a bed of the Napa cabbage. Mm -hmm. And I did a port wine uh, dark chicken uh, sauce for it. Sauce is delicious. Thank you. Why port wine? I tasted a little sweetness on the one that you gave us, so I was trying to search for that. Yeah, interesting. Where is your puree? Sitting behind you. Carrots. You made it, you didn't put it on. Uh, yeah. Chub chub. Yeah, I know. Why do you make a stunning puree like that and then not put it on the plate? Spaced out? You would have been the only one. Right. For me to fuck up something as stupid as forgetting to plate something, it's just, it's unacceptable. But at least nobody else got carrot puree. OK, fascinating. The one thing you all had, congratulations, was chicken stock. Trev, you were the only one that had the port wine. Well done. Thank you. Is it port wine sauce? Wow, wow, wow. I could pull this off, maybe. OK, two pork, two veal. Russell and Noah, you are correct. Congratulations. Thank you, Sheryl. Veal, 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 veal. It's totally veal. <laughs> it's between you two now. Loin of veal as the main protein. Celery root, celery root. Inside your puree is what? Star anise and a little bit of cream. Salt. Star anise. And you put star anise in yours? Yeah, I boiled it off with star anise. OK, congratulations to you both. However, there is one dish that is slightly in front down to the fine tuning. Russell, inside the cabbage, there's bacon. No, no, inside your cabbage, there's pancetta. Yes, Chef. Congratulations. No, no, pancetta is right. Well done. Yay! I finally won a challenge by myself. I am so so excited. For your reward, you'll be heading off to Beverly Hills to the hands on spa <laughs> to sit back, relax, and just get pampered. Massage, facials, and relax. I uh, also have a little surprise for you upstairs waiting. Okay. Uh, the rest of you, listen up carefully. In Hell's Kitchen today, big day, laundry day. You'll be prepping, ironing, starching, all the tablecloths. And I've got a couple of jackets that need doing as well. Don't get them too stiff. I don't want to look like a mummy. Whatever. We get to do laundry all day and prep the kitchen for fucking service tonight. Yay. No, no. It would be a great shame for you to go to the spa alone. Uh, you could now save someone from laundry day. Ah! Look at their faces. <laughs> I'll, I'll pick Russ. Thank you. Well done. Let's get ready, I thought for sure Nona was going to choose me. I thought she was my girl. What a bitch, man, because I really want to fucking go. I'm pissed about it. I'm not even going to lie. You two, go off and get changed. Yes, Chef. Nona, great job. Yes, Chef. Really good job. <sighs> There's your new pants set. Oh, my God! Well done. Lots of love. Go oh, my God! I got the most amazing set of Demire cookware with Three-star chef, Gordon Ramsay's cookbook, signed, says, I love you, Nona, you're my favorite. Yay! No, he didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> awesome! Good job. Thank you so much. Nona works hard, and she puts out a lot of effort. Good for her. But I don't really care about pots and pans. They can't make you a better cook. You deserve it. Okay, 
right, let's start getting some equipment, start stocking up the stations. Let's get cutting boards, anything that we're going to need. You want to do this side, and I'll do that side? Bye, Jelly. Bye. When you lose a damn challenge, it just brings you down to a level that sucks. I just want to go on a mountainside and be like everyone else, leave me the fuck alone for a while. Anytime you take a little time off for yourself, it's hugely beneficial. So, ah, uh, it just was awesome. How's the pressure? The pressure in Hell's Kitchen or this pressure? <laughs> Russ, how's it feel? I'm drooling. <laughs> While Nona and Russell leave their troubles behind, back in Hell's Kitchen. Don't drink. Yeah. Jillian and Trev's troubles are just beginning. So, washing machine, dryer. Most important thing for you to do are Chef Ramsay's chef jackets. And you know how picky he is. I did not come here to lose shit all the time. After a while, it just gets kind of frustrating. This sucks. Tiffany, are you married? <laughs> Single. Are you looking for an older or younger man? Yeah. <laughs> Russ, shut up. Russell was totally flirting. I'm like, Russell. <laughs> Shut up. Still a boyfriend, though? No. <laughs> if guys don't like pink hair, what can I say? <laughs> While Russell makes a play at the spa, back in Hell's Kitchen, Jillian and Trev are working on a strategy of their own. It's been the Nona and fucking Russell's show for two, three days now. Let them get put up for elimination tonight, even if they do good. <laughs> Booyah, shaka! Ah, uh, that's my plan. I like it. Jillian and I have already decided we don't want these two here anymore, and we'd like to see us, the underdogs, take it away from the privileged. Plain and simple. Here they come. Hi, guys. Hey, it's the pretty girls. Whatever. Look at my eyebrows. <laughs> I really, really wanted to take Jillian, because I know that she's been pretty down and out lately. But picking Russell was more strategy than really anything. Because if he goes with me, then that means I'm not on his target list. Did y'all have fun today? Yeah, fucking love. She ain't happy, man. Yeah, well, be unhappy with yourself. Don't be a bitch to us. Jillian, she's got a bad attitude. I feel like she's wasting all of our time. She needs to go home. Well, let's go, guys. Yes, get on your stations. Yes, chef. Except you, Jillian. Uh, I want two minutes with you. Let's go. Oh, shit. It's not looking good for Jillian right now. I don't know what he's going to say. I have no idea. I already know I sucked last service, but I know that any given second, Chef could tap you on the shoulder and say, go home. That makes me scared as fuck. My stomach's in knots. I've never worked this hard in my life for anything. And to get sent home now, that would just be a straight kick in the face. There was a door. OK, sit down. When you first arrived here, you were not 100% certain of yourself, and I looked at you as a bit of a, an underdog. Then you worked bloody hard, and you proved me wrong. But the last two dinner services, you seem that you have lost your confidence. Why? Uh, when I suck, like, I, get, I, I think I'm like harder on myself than everyone else because I get so pissed at myself when I fuck up. You are a strong, determined girl with a great future, but you've got to stop beating yourself up at the first mistake. And what you've got to learn to fight back. You've got to find that inner strength, that you can be as good as anyone that's in Hell's Kitchen currently if you bounce back. Yes, Chef. You can do it. OK, Chef. We're opening in 15. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Chef. Talking to Chef Ramsay is the pep talk I needed. To hear Chef Ramsay be like, you're good. You just need to focus. Like, it, it means the world to me. Tonight is my night. He's chosen me to be here for a reason, and I have to show him why. OK, James. Yes, Chef. Open Hell's Kitchen. Let's go.
Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. I'm going to start with the lobster spaghetti. I'll get the halibut. I'll take everything on page one. Everything on page one. After two terrible dinner services. Let's start right from the very top. One truffle salad, two spaghetti, three scallops. Yes, yes, chef. Good, let's go. Chef Ramsay is counting on the final four to finally deliver. Walking right now with spaghetti. I'm really pumped for service tonight. We've got a lot to prove, and I am absolutely going to show Chef that I can kick ass. No, no. Yes. Nice color pasta. Yes, Chef. I want the scallop garnish. Let's go. Scallop garnish right now, Chef. Let's go. Jim. That's delicious. Thank you, Chef. Oh, man. I'm like, hell yeah. I knew it tasted good, because I fucking tasted it. Russell, two scallops. Let's go. Scallops in the window. I'm ready for service. Hey, you gotta stay calm, cool, and collective and push the food out. That's the key to the night. Scallops cooked perfectly. Let's go. Yes, chef. I'm getting nervous. We've never kicked off service like this. Service, please. <laughs> Keep it going, guys, yes? Yes, chef. This is night and day from our last service, yes? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Come in with the uh, risotto. It fucks me off. Come here, you. Come here. And you as well. Have a fucking good taste. Awesome. It's freaking great. I love what's happening right now. What's the first thing that comes to your mouth? Pepper. Yeah, can we have some uh, risotto with the pepper, please? Refire. Three stunning risottos away. Yes, chef. Sucks, sucks, sucks. Three minutes out on that risotto. Scalps. I get some glute. That is raw. Russell. Yo. Yo, yeah. Oh, yo, hey, uh, yeah. Raw. Hey, fucking raw. Fuck. <sighs> Mister, I can cook a scallop like nobody's business puts up. Cold scallops. One minute on a scallop. Apparently, you're not all that in a bag of chips after all, are you? I don't want to lose the momentum now, because then we all start fucking nodding off. This is not good. We started off great. I don't know what happened. It just went downhill. Go, go. Scallop garnish, please. Come in with risotto. Garnish coming. Good. Service, please. Let's go. Nona and Russell have rebounded on the appetizers. You know where you're going, yes? Yeah. You really like love scallops. Come in with risotto. Service, please. And food is now leaving the kitchen in a continual flow. Service. <laughs> and as the team moves on to entrees. Entree, two Wellington, three beef. Let's go, two Wellington in. Yes, sir. The pressure shifts to Trev on the meat station. All meat tonight. Let's go. I'm kidding. On order, table 31, entree, two Wellington, three beef, one halibut. Yes, yes sir. Seven Wellingtons all day. All fucking meat. <laughs> Whoops. Come on, Trev, stay in control. Yes, chef. Don't panic. Okay. Right off the bat, it was meat, 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 meat. That's all it was. I'm shaking in my boots. I'm nervous as hell. That's the only thing going through my head. Checking the first welly. Trev! Just calm down! Use your carving knife. It's serrated, so it's hard on there. Watch, watch, watch. Yeah. Find your mark, fingers down. Gently on the fucking pastry. Perfect. Yeah, I want to see your delicate touch again. Find your mark. Holding the pastry down, letting the knife do the work. OK. Perfect. Let's go. Oh, my god. I don't understand why Chef is over there doing the meat for Trev. No oil in the pan. You end up scorching the meat. Need the oil in there, yes, to work it, yes? It's like training wheels with a little freaking boink, 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 boink on his bicycle. <laughs> Stay in control. You got it. Trev! Don't throw it in there. Don't throw it in. We'll stay calm. When you throw in a steak like that, I can tell you're panicking. Outside, 30 seconds. Just that, that, that side of the door. Now, and fill up your lungs. Let's go. Close the fucking door. Big, deep breath. Calm. 30 seconds. Trev got kicked out, and he had to go take a deep breath, and I was just kind of snickering. He looked hilarious. I can't help but laugh. Back out. 30 seconds. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, you know how fucking counting goes. There you go. It's embarrassing, it really is. Ready? Let's go, big boy. Stop panicking. Calm. 
Busy, calm. That's it. Yeah. yeah. In the zone, yes? Look yeah. at me in the eyes. In the fucking zone. Let's go. Wipe down. Wipe down. Let's go. Garnish, please. Garnish coming right now, Chef. Finally. Service. Trev's meat, cooked by Chef Ramsay, Beautiful seal on that meat. has met Chef Ramsay's approval. And now he's hoping Trev's time out will help him to cook more calmly. Trev, don't panic. And successfully deliver his own entree. Three Wellington, one salmon, yes? Yes, yes, Chef. All right, let's go. Let's get this done. Let's go. I just need to stay focused. That's all I need to do. I got one Wellington here. I got three Wellington, one salmon. I got one Wellington here. Who's got confused? Where's the other two Wellingtons, buddy? Oh, I got confused. Trev, do you want to go home? No, chef. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. I said, come here. Out. Fuck. Out. Fuck off. Out. Unbelievable. Oh, and he's out. Close the fucking door. Son of a bitch. I knew it was three. They were made, they were cooked, they were ready, they were perfect. I just space cadetted because I didn't set myself up properly. Three wings and one salmon. Unbelievable. Cooked perfectly. Think. Come on, Trev. Get this together. Drive it home. Get it done. Let's go. Slow down. The yes, chef. Three wings and one salmon. Salmon's in the window. You bring more wings. That tells me you're not concentrating. Hey, slow down. Okay. Concentrate. All the way. Service, please. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The complete order has finally made it out to the dining room. So good. <laughs> and now so Chef Ramsay is looking to Russell. How about how the toss? To keep the entrees moving. Russell, I've got two halibut, yes? One's maximum color, one's done perfectly. Okay. It's on the same table. Okay, Chef. You got one exactly the same as that? Yes, Chef. Let's go. Yes, Chef. I made one mistake. I did one halibut bed. He said, it's not good enough, and I made him another one. No big deal. Russell, it's undercooked. It's raw. Fucking hell. Come on. Get him back in. Yes, chef. He wants to show that he's Superman, and he was trying to fly something out that wasn't going to fly. He should have known better. Fucking hell. We don't need a guy like that in charge. Can you fix it? Yep. I need two minutes on that. And I guess if I have to be the guy, if I have to start raising my voice, I'll do it. All right, we're pushing that. We got two minutes. What's the next ticket? Let's get that rocket for garnish. All garnish to the window, Jillian, please. Garnish coming. Go. Thank you. Halibut, you're walking? Yep, halibut walking. Thank you. Thank you. Steak's following. Halibut's perfectly cooked. Thank you. Let's go, guys. The final four have found their groove. The lamb is excellent. And entrees are leaving the kitchen rapidly. Garnish to the window. Garnish to the window. Jillian. Yes, chef. That's delicious. Thank you, chef. That pep talk from Chef Ramsay before service, that got me pumped. Mash, tasted delicious. Let's Thank go. Thank you, chef. Chef Jillian in the house. We're almost there. Last two tickets, we got this. With the finish line in sight. I think the last two are going to rely on me. All I need is your salmon. I got you. It's up to enemies Trev and Russell to work together. How long on a salmon? Is it fired? It's going to be in a minute here. Well, it's not fired. You know, every time Chef calls an order, you got to wait till he fires it before you can start cooking. I just be prepared for it. Hold on, bro. Let me let me just take care of That's one thing. Fine. I'm trying to be a step ahead of the game. Russell should be working on the next one while thinking a couple of more tickets ahead of time. Two beat, one Wellington, one salmon. How long? Two minutes to the window. It's not even fired yet. It's not even fired. I knew it. Hey, you asked me how long. I gave you a time. Don't just sit there and say, I knew it. Don't yell, guys. Come on. OK, Trevor. If you tell me to fire something and then it's not fired and it makes me look bad, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to stick this size 12 so far up your ass, dude, you're going to be spitting shoelaces for like a week. Dude, seriously. I'm not trying to fuck you over, Russ. Whatever. Just shut up. Come on, don't argue. Just be quiet and let's finish. Those two fight so much. Russell's a bully and Trev's just dicking around, acting like a fucking idiot. You guys want to fail, then fail. But not me. Come on, guys. One hell of it, one risotto. Salmon and a beef next. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Halvick's in the window. There you go. That's what I need. Perfect. Service, please. Another 30 seconds on the risotto. Come on, no, no. Go, come back for the risotto. Chef Ramsay has sent the halibut out to the dining room with the hopes that the risotto will soon follow. Your risotto should just be at the counter. OK. Can I smell your food? But as the customer grows hungrier, come on, no, no, let's go. Yes, chef. chef Ramsay grows impatient. Risotto, please. Yes, chef. Risotto. It's not even green. 
my god! Stop! Come on. Yeah. Let's go, you. Don't run away from me. I'm not running away, sir. Taste. Draw. No flavor. Blanche! Again, I'm like, how do you fuck up risottos twice? Bland! Yes, chef. On the back of it being bland, it's fucking burnt at the bottom of the fucking pan. Oh, man. It's such a shame! The chef is pissed. Is that your best? No, it's not my best. Well, fucking give me your best! Well, get out! I knew it wasn't right, and I sent it anyway. There's no excuse for it. Let's go. How long on the regroup? It'll be a six-minute refire. Last tables, yes? Yes, chef. This is my last ticket. I'm like, don't mess up, risotto. Don't you mess up. You don't mess up. So I'm literally having a one-on-one -on -one with this risotto. Walking. Service. With Nona bouncing back with a perfect risotto. Mm. Sam, it coming right now, chef. The final four send out their last entrees. That's everything. Let's go jump on desserts. Yes, yeah, chef. And are moving on to desserts. But one chef is already looking ahead to elimination time. So who are we going to vote up tonight, chef? Huh? Who are we voting for tonight? I don't know yet. I gotta think about it, don't I? Well, I don't think there's much to think about. No, I don't think so either. Dude, I think it's painfully obvious who we're fucking Jillian and I are going to vote for. Did Jillian fuck up tonight? Nope. Russ has every reason to be fucking scared. Switch it off, will you please, yes? Tonight was probably the most important service we've had in Hell's Kitchen so far. Yes, chef. Yeah. After the last miserable, horrific, horrendous service, I desperately needed a comeback. And that's exactly what I got. Thank you, Thank you, Chef. It wasn't perfect, but it was bloody good. For the first time in a long time, I'm happy. Now, here's the downside. All four of you go upstairs to the dorms and come up with two individuals for elimination. It sucks when you have a great service and you still have to put somebody up, but that's what we have to do. I killed it on Garnish tonight. There's no reason I should go up for elimination. I thought I had a great night, too. I'm nominating you two. You guys were the ones that had fuck-ups tonight. I had a good night. My votes are Trev. My second one is Russell, because of the scallops and the halibut. Russ was not perfect tonight, and Trev did not do too bad, but it's hard to go wrong when you have Chef Ramsay wiping your ass for you. My votes are for Trevor and Russell, too. What the hell? What happened to the plan? Let them get put up for elimination tonight, even if they do good. <laughs> Booyah, shaka! <laughs> Jillian's selling me out. I'm definitely voting for you, Trev. Because of your attitude and the communication lapses, it's fucking ridiculous. How long on a salmon? Is it fired? Two minutes to the window! There's not even fire, Jeff. I knew it. Don't just sit there and say, I knew it. OK, Trevor. If you talked to me like you talked to me before about that salmon, I would have slapped the shit out of you. If you ever think you can cop an attitude like that with me, best believe you're going to catch one to the side of your fucking head. Whoa. Whoa. OK. I will fuck you up, bro. Russ going off on Trev like that was absolutely uncalled for. Russell's definitely nervous for elimination because he could go home tonight. It's hilarious. I'm being put up for elimination, but the weakest link is Trevor. So I'm not scared at all. Trevor's the one that's going home tonight. Have you made a decision? Yes, yes chef. Trev, first nominee and why? First nominees seem to be pretty easy for everybody. Ah, oh, it was me. Well, I wasn't communicating well enough, apparently. Second nominee, and why? Second nominee is uh, Russell. Russell. His uh, fish station tonight, undercooked halibut and bad scallops. <sighs> Russell, Trev, step forward.
Right, uh, Russell, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I've had a lot of peaks and, and I've had some valleys, but I think I've shown you that I can get up to that leader platform and know how to push other people without them feeling offended. I get concerned when your arrogance outshines your talent. And I don't expect raw scallops from you. Uh, Trev, you panic. Yeah. You work too fast for your own good and you trip over yourself. Tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. Yes, I needed to slow down for a second, but I thought I was doing a pretty damn good job. I thought I stepped up to the caliber that you were looking for, and that's not going to stop at all. OK, the person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Trev. Back in line. Oh. Russell. Come here. It's time for you to say hello to your girlfriend, Megan. Get the fuck out of here. And your mum and dad. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my god. Completely dumbfounded, flabbergasted. I honestly thought I was up for the firing squad. Trev, here's your sister, Annie, and your best friend, Josh. No way. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my God. Jillian, your boyfriend, Christopher, and your two sons, Dylan and Colin. Come and say hello. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Nona, <laughs> keep it together. Here's your husband, <laughs> Curtis, and your baby boy, Jackson. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Because we had a very good service, I decided to give you all a break and not eliminate someone. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Take yeah. this time out and enjoy. Yeah. LA. I wasn't expecting to see Annie at all, and I haven't cried yet. And I'll tell you, I was damn close when she came running through that door. I missed you guys so much. It's been so hard here. Can they call you a dog? No. God, did they yell at you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. I feel like I'm, like, dreaming right now. This is just terrific. So proud of you. Oh, Rusty. My dad is definitely a big part of why I decided to be a chef. They all think, like, I'm the biggest threat, and they're all trying to get rid of me now. Oh, wow. I want to do it for me. I want to do it for my family. I want to do it for my girl. I love you to make them all proud of me and know that all this time and this effort they've put in to me was worth it. We're hoping this would help boost you up. Hello. Hello. Oh, my God, that's my baby. That's my baby boy. And he's just like such a big boy now. I can't even take it. It just affirms yeah. the reason why I'm here. here. You know, I'm doing this for my family. I'm doing this for that little monkey face. Mwah, there you go. <laughs> He's just absolutely everything to me. I'm so sorry. It's time to say goodbye. I love you. I love you so much. Be good, OK? All right, high five. All right. All right. To see my kids and to be like, guys, I made it to the final four. And they're both like, I'm so proud of you. It's all good. Good night, guys. Right. Chefs, did you enjoy that? Yes. yes. Good. There's a lot more surprises to come. Get some rest. Good night. Good night, yeah. Chef. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef, so much. Seeing my little sister show up just rekindled that spark for me. I want this so bad. I never wanted anything so bad in my entire life. The best gift that I can give her is to win this thing. Now that I've seen my girl, my family, I have a fire burning bigger than any fucking California wildfire ever to get this job. I'm going to give it everything that I got. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. Listen carefully. Chef Ramsay starts the day with a bombshell. Two of you are going home this evening. I have got to step it up. I'm just going to take control. I'm ready to kick some ass. 
This is my chance to lead, my chance to show what I'm made of. The final four are in for the most intense dinner service of the season. Listen to me, it's not good enough. You're not gonna fucking screw me. Not just because Chef Ramsay is all over them. You're doing the sides first, and we're forgetting the entrees. Entrees first! But the chefs are all over each other. It's in! Let's go, Trevor, make that shit happen. It's, it's coming! Rush is a thug, he's a jacko, he's a meathead. Everybody is determined to be in the final two. This is my time to shine, and I'm gonna fucking shine. But their lack of sportsmanship. Did you hear what I said? Yes, Chef. Yeah. Hell of it is wrong! Shut the fuck up! Pushes Chef Ramsay over the edge. Oh! Quit it! Come here, you! You're fucking out! Get out! Get out of here! I cannot believe it. <laughs> Find out who survives one crazy night. Dad! It's coming! You don't gotta yell. I'm trying to help you out. You're the one that's yelling at me, Jillian. And makes it to the final two. I'm gonna win. Hell's Kitchen. I'm not gonna sell for second place. For a chance to become head chef of LA Market in downtown Los Angeles. The salary, a quarter of a million dollars. <laughs> spokesperson for Rosemount Estate Winery. Sadly, there's only room for two. All next time on Hell's Kitchen.